Now we are talking with Jorge Diaz. He is the uh, Vice uh, President of Operations of uh, Sonora Metals and I'm really happy to have you here, Jorge. Um, it was a long traveling for you from Mexico directly coming to PDEC. Uh, welcome to Toronto. How is uh, everything going on site and uh, please give us a little bit uh, an overview what are you doing in uh, Mexico with Sonora Metals? Well, um, well first uh, glad to meet you Wolfgang, I, I, it's a pleasure. Yeah, it was a long trip from Mexico. Uh, it was um, what, uh, more than one day. Uh, it took me to get here. But uh, we are here where everything happens no? in mining. So we are pleased to be here. Pleased to meet you. So you have an excellent uh, background and track record in building mines in Mexico. You are very familiar with the industry. You have done that before. Please uh, tell us a little bit more about it. Well, I have a yeah. I have a long history. I uh, I started my career. I am a I am a, I I studied in mining engineering in Guanajuato, Mexico, which is a very old university. And then I did a, a master's degree in Colorado School of Mines in Mineral Economics. And since day one, I, I was in operations. And uh, so I, I worked for many years for Peñoles, uh, first uh, producing and then uh, building uh, projects. And then in 19, uh, 1993, I decided to join the junior companies, the junior market, and uh, it has been a very great experience. And uh, since then, I have been able to, to participate or lead uh, some of the, uh, of, of the major uh, uh, projects here, which are now operating, like La Colorada in 1993 for uh, Explorations El Dorado, Mulatos for uh, Alamos Gold during, in 2003, and uh, El Castillo, for uh, which now belongs to Argon, but in, but in those days uh, it was another group, very small group, uh, in which I was the, the one that started it up. And uh, those three mines are now big, big uh, operations. Yeah, those are the major uh, mines with uh, uh, good companies. So we know Yamana Gold and all those, uh, they have been very successful. And uh, Jorge, you told me uh, the other day that you want to build a heap leach operation here with Sonoro. Um, when do you think that could happen? What are the most important steps uh, the company has to do to get there? Well, uh, we, we need to, yes, we want to, do a, we want to do a pilot operation. It is important for us because uh, now in the, the conditions of the market, the financing conditions of the market uh, uh, point that in that direction because we need to generate some uh, cash flow for our continuing uh, exploration efforts because we have a great uh, deposit a great property which is going to be a big operation in the future but now the conditions of, uh, of the financial markets uh, uh, point at the uh, direction in which we need to to do what we have done in the past to build a, a small pilot operation and generate some cash flow yes that's what the, the European investors like especially shareholders like myself I have to outline under the Mifid law that I'm a shareholder of the company. There is a potential conflict of interest, uh, as we say. So now you know uh, we have uh, been involved in uh, Sonoro just from the beginning and I'm a shareholder as well. Jorge, um, how long would it take to build that operation if you would have the cash tomorrow? Well, in less than a year we will be, uh, we will be starting the production. Because uh, 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 permitting will be... Uh, would take us uh, about nine months. We just need a few details, uh, which is going to. Some of them are going to depend on the amount of financing that we can get. But in, a, in at the most in a year, if I had the money tomorrow, in a, in a year it will be producing the first ounces of gold. Yes. Right, that quick. And uh, would you expect a low cost operation? Because in Mexico you have certainly some benefits to be a low cost operator. Would you expect that? Yes, uh, even even uh, even though that this will be a, a small operation, we expect to have a low cost be because uh, we because we know how to do it, and uh, the state of Sonora in Mexico has lots of uh, very uh, very qualified persons and businesses, and uh, that can provide us the services at a very competitive cost. Uh, yes, I'm sure. And what about the infrastructure? Do you have electricity there and water and? How would uh, that fit for building a mine? Is that a big uh, issue? It's always a, an important issue, but uh, it is under control. You see, uh, the, the project besides have been having this great potential in, in, in uh, gold mineralization, the project as well, uh, we, we have the uh, power line, a power line uh, 
only about uh, five kilometers from our site. There's water. The area has been uh, impacted by by mining. You know, the impact uh, as as every other business impacts in the in the in the world. Not a uh, nothing uh, nothing that is not under control. So permitting will be is simple over there. And the uh, and the land tenure is is as well uh, not very complicated because there's only one owner of uh, of the land that, that we will need and, and the guy is uh, open to mining as well so uh, everything should be okay I think so it could be a straightforward development uh, uh, you have mentioned to me that you have uh, a private uh, mine operating actually uh, I think that's a very important uh, point to uh, mention as well. Uh, Jorge, uh, you have built mines, but now you operate also your own mine privately. Yes, yes, that's, uh, you see, it's, it was a dream of all my life, and uh, it is not... Can you imagine? Yeah, yeah, um, you know, I I think that we, many people in the world, wants to have a gold mine, no? And, uh, well, of course, yes, now I have one. It is a small one, but we are producing almost 3,000 ounces per, per year. Have a, it's a very high-grade uh, deposit, and... Uh, it's been a very nice experience, different. Cool, so I wish you a lot of success uh, with your further development and I would be glad if you could uh, build that uh, Sonoro Hiblich operation and we would have some return for our shareholders. Thank you very much uh, having you here and thanks for the interview. Jorge, all the best for you and uh, hopefully I see you next year again. Thank you, very, thank you to you Wolfgang and uh, this is a great opportunity to talk to your people in uh, Germany. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you. Okay, thank you.